as in my, my doctor, my psych, uh, has suggested I write, um, do something creative with my feelings. So I've, I've been doing some poems, and I think it might help to actually perform it in front of a non-judgmental, drug-addled, teenage crowd. Uh, so this is a poem I wrote called Angry. <laughs> or in brackets, feet. <laughs> Sometimes I get a bit angry, but you couldn't tell. No, you couldn't tell unless you looked real closely. Sometimes I get a bit angry, but it's all right. Yes, it's all right, because I keep it out of sight, inside, deep inside. I breastfed till I was nine. <laughs> Which my quack doctor says is fine. And he also says I'd deal with anger better if I wrote about myself in a poem or a letter. My mother was a fucking bitch caring lady. She taught me all I know, although I was a little slow. She never gave up, she never let me slut down. Although she spent a lot of time at the neighbor's house when my dad was out of town. I didn't walk till I was seven, or talk till I was 10, but neither did Napoleon, according to my doctor, who has certificates in frames to substantiate his dodgy fucking claims. My father left my mother for the love of a poontang mother. And I have a bastard brother who I've never really known because my dad moved up to Queensland and he doesn't have a bullshit, you fat cunt. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> In primary school, I had trouble making ashtrays. Friends. An issue which has become somewhat of a trend, the origin of which I cannot pretend does not perplex me, although my quack doctor says it's cool and that loads of fat freak fuck you, I'm not fat! Kids at school have problems with communication and that a course of medication would be wise and combined with more honest self-expression could help me with my issues with emotional repression. And at 300 bucks a session, I think I'll take the thieving quack bastard chap's advice. So, I quite like porn, photography, and books on guns, history, and I'd like to be a politician, vet. And I feel as I get older, I'm more in control of my violent tendencies, and when I die, die, I'll have no regrets. And I feel that all this writing is really gay, exciting, and my doctor would be proud because I feel a lot less angry and I'm saying stuff out loud and I'm letting anger out. Like today in our last session when I taught the quack a lesson because he said I'm not progressing, said I wasn't moving forward. So I said, well, let's see how you move without your fucking legs. <laughs> and I tied him to his chair and I pulled out my machete and I listened to him beg and then I cut his fucking feet off. And while he lay there bleeding, I used his feet to kick him in the head. <laughs> <laughs>